Boys and girls, last week we looked at data. Now, I hope you remember, the thing that we want to remember is that data is purely information, right? It's information that computers receive and that then computers produce. It's information we receive as people and that we produce. Data is needed by computers. If computers don't have information, they can't do a lot of the jobs that we take for granted. This could include um, sending money to a bank. This could include making a photo or a video like I am now. This could include using the internet because data is needed to be exchanged between computers. But data comes in many forms. Now that we have an understanding that data is about encoding and decoding, we're going to look at another form of type of code. Now, this one is not a digital code. In fact, it was invented all over 150 years ago um, by a man named Louis Braille. Now, Louis, you'll see in the video that I show you, uh, was blind. And he invented this system to be able to communicate in a way that he could feel with his fingers. Now, this is another form of data like our data with binary numbers. And if you remember that, computers all learn and they all function off the binary number system, having a one and also then a zero. So the difference between Braille is not that much, to be honest. It's just what I would say, not a digital version of the binary system. So if you imagine Braille, you have uh, dots and a series of dots on the paper. Actually, I'll get you to watch this video first, and then after the video, I'll explain exactly what they were trying to say and how this relates to computers. All right, check the video out, and I'll come back to you real soon. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's really interesting, wasn't it? To hear about how the Braille system got found by its creator, Louis Braille. Now, the Braille system uses something very similar to the binary number system, which is on and off. How does this work? Well, if you think of it, the Braille system has little dots up here. In fact, just have a look. And you can see from those different alphabets that the Braille system uses raised pieces of uh, paper, very, very, very small. And it, it makes them so that when you put your finger on the sheet, you can actually feel, really feel those little dots. That's how you can make the cell. So for example, if I just push this key right here on its own, that would be the top left-hand corner of the cell of the six, right? These two together are the top two in the left side of the cell. These three form the entire left side. For example, if I do just one, that's A, that up in the top left corner, that means A. Keys one and two will make a B, one and four will make a C, and so on and so forth. Then it's just on and on it goes. Now each dot you know, is in a pattern, and that pattern can form your letters. It can form numbers, it can form symbols. And that's how blind people can read using the Braille system. Now this is the same idea as our binary system and as well how computers use data in that there is an on position and there's an off position. I want you to have a think, what do you think the off position is for Braille? Have a think about it just for five seconds. All right, if you weren't sure the browse system is off when there's nothing actually to feel, it's completely flat. The browse system is on when, of course, you can feel those dots on the paper. In different orders, they all have different meanings. But at the end of the day, it's information that's coded in another way. What I want you to do is have a look at the chart, the alphabet chart for Braille. I want you to see if you can draw on a piece of paper your name using the Braille system. If you had something that could actually uh, help to have a raised 
um, texture on the paper and you can make that into little dots, that's great. But I think this will be very difficult for many of you. So just grab a piece of paper, draw those dots and see if you can make your name. If you do that, then I challenge you to make a sentence and see how you go with that one.